My name is uh, Tom Keedy. I'm the Vice President of Government Relations and Community Affairs at Boston College. And I would like to, before I start the official program, just recognize a couple of people who uh, really worked um, very hard to pull this all together, and that is uh, Jean Levesque and uh, Maureen Priskinis from the President's Office. Can we have a round of applause for them? So I'd like to welcome everyone uh, to Boston College for this Combined Neighborhood Improvement Fund and Community Fund Grant Ceremony with Father Leahy and John Grilly, who is standing in for our mayor, who unfortunately had to attend a close personal friend of his, his mother, uh, Bill Kennedy, who's from Dorchester. His mom passed away, and the, this morning is the funeral, and the mayor called me last night. Uh, to apologize, but we all understand that. And so John, is, as Father Leahy said to me, has been elevated this morning. Big shoes. We are, ha we are very pleased with the turnout this morning. Uh, we have so many great partners that work with us in the city, from the BPDA to the elected officials, our task force that's here, and all of our grant recipients for this ceremony. I'd like to recognize a couple of our elected officials who are attending. Uh, Representative Kevin Honan, who's the chairman of housing, who served this district for a very long, long time. I don't know, I don't want to say how long, but he is, and he's a Boston College graduate, Kevin Honan. The next person, uh, and we're going to recognize him uh, officially later, but City Councilor Mark Siomo. Mark and I go back a long, long time uh, to the Brian Honan for District Attorney race where we became very, very close friends. And Mark, uh, uh, after Brian passed away, he made the decision to run for City Council and he has represented this district so well and we're so very proud of him, but we also support his decision. <laughs> to retire, and that's a tough, tough one to make because public service has been such a part of his life. And so we'd like to welcome the chairman of Ways and Means, Mark Siomo. We also have uh, our police captain who does a phenomenal job. We love him out here, and that's Captain Paul Russell. The task force chair for the Boston College group, uh, Annabelle Gomes. And a, and a person who is almost like on our staff uh, from the BPDA, the person who does institutional work with us, and that's Gerald Alter. I would like to uh, congratulate the seven Neighborhood Improvement Fund grant recipients and the 14 Community Fund recipients on their awards that will fund a number of beneficial projects and programs in the Alston Brighton community, including in those uh, grants a major park renovation, additional blue bike share stations, engagement programs for seniors, youth sports programs, functioning public art in Main Street business districts, gateway beautification and education and community program at the BPS schools and community centers, just to name a few. In total, 21 organizations will receive $1,144,000 from the two funds. Over 1.1 million from the 2000-2019 round of the NIF grant and $39,929 from the 2019 fall cycle of the community fund. And I just want to say, if I didn't say the total, total dollar amount, Gene would call me aside. <laughs> I would like to now introduce a person that I've had the pleasure and honor of working with for the last 19 years, the president of Boston College, Father William P. Leahy. I want to join Tom and all of us at Boston College in welcoming you to this morning's event. And seeing all of you is just a great reminder of how strong the partnership is between Boston College, the city of Boston, and our neighborhood. 
And when you think about all the activities that go on in a community like ours, it takes people to make things click and function. And so you do that. And as we have engaged so many different groups and in addressed a lot of issues, we know how important partners are. And that is what you provide for us. That's the ways in which we help make our community better. You can look out the window and see the landscape, the beautiful snow that makes everything look full of hope and brightness. And as we approach Christmas, I hope all of us can appreciate for a moment how we have been blessed. And certainly Boston College feels it's had wonderful partnerships with groups here. And we would say through you, we have been able to help make our community better. And it's through the gifts of you and your engagement that all that comes to pass. So this morning, we can gather and recognize certain groups who do a lot of good. We can help them do even more. And that's why I think today is so special that we have you. We can come together and be part of making Boston College, Alston Brighton, even better. And the city of Boston is our home. And so we're in this all together. I'm grateful that you're here. And I'm very pleased that all of us at Boston College can continue working with you. So thank you. And let's keep moving forward and have 2020 be an even better year. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Uh, I would like to now call on John Greeley, who probably uh, got woken last night around 1030 uh, by the mayor of Boston. Uh, let's give John a warm Boston College welcome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Father Leahy. Um, thanks to Representative Honum and uh, Councillor Siomo. Councillor Siomo, it's been a pleasure working with you for the last several years. You're going to be missed, um, but I imagine you've got some great things waiting for you in retirement. So looking forward to working with you in the future. Um, um, I want to congratulate all the grand awardees. On behalf of the Mayor, Mayor Walsh, who obviously couldn't be here today, but uh, sends his regards to everybody here. I want to thank all. I want to congratulate all the grand awardees today. A lot of consideration and care goes into the selection of these awards um, for each funding round, and you should be very proud. Um, you, uh, you all represent projects that will have a big impact on the quality of life here in Alston and Brighton. And thank you for helping strengthen, strengthen this great, diverse community. Um, I would like to thank BC for being a wonderful partner for the city of Boston, um, and especially Alston Brighton. A great university like this one um, lifts up the local community, and that's what BC, exactly what BC does time and time again. These grants are another example of how they're supporting both students and residents, and that kind of partnership really matters to the city. Um, as Tom said, these grants will go to um, grow to uh, uh, towards a variety of projects in Alston Brighton, from supporting our seniors to renovating a park to creating more bike sharing options, uh, youth sports, public art, and much, much more. And there's a strong legacy of doing this. Um, these are all aspects of a healthy, thriving neighborhood. And these are all opportunities our residents deserve um, 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 across the city, but especially here. Um, as a city, we greatly value the relationship with Boston College. Um, the mayor is an alum, as you all know, and so this is a relationship he takes very personally. So once again, on behalf of the mayor, I'd like to say thank you very much. Um, congratulations and have a wonderful, happy holiday season. So now I'm going to ask Father Leahy and uh, John to come up. Gene, where, where do you want to? Right here. And I'm just going to call out uh, each group. And um, Gene has uh, checks, <laughs> big checks and little checks. <laughs> So for the uh, NIF, we have uh, seven. Uh, Alston Village Main Streets, Alex Conaccini and Scott Matlin, 60,000 for the Alston Village Lights and Main Street District. Uh, 
uh, the Austin Brighton CDC and Department of Public Works, John Woods, Jason DeRosia, Eric Prentice, $20,000 for an age-friendly bench program. Third is the Artist for Humanity, George Mallet, Lorraine Johnson, $42,846 for artistic bike racks located in the Brighton Commercial District. for the Boston Transportation Department, person who has one of the toughest jobs in Boston, Commission <laughs> Commissioner Greg Rooney, Kim Foltz, $106,250 for two additional blue bike share locations in Brighton. Next recipients are the Brighton Gateway, led by our former Community Affairs Police Officer, Sergeant Mike O'Hara and Robert Notch, $100,000 for beautification and creation of the Brighton Gateway on Commonwealth Avenue. Number six, the Gardner Pilot Academy, Principal Erica Herman, $24,999. I wonder if there's a... $99.99. Enhancements to the community garden programs. The last one is uh, the Boston Parks and Recreation Department, and this is for the McKinney Playground, a project that started uh, with an idea of improvement almost four years ago. And uh, through the work of a lot of people in this room, this has really come, become a reality. And so I'd like to call on Commissioner Ryan Woods, Kathy Baker Eclipse, to receive a check for 750000 towards the renovation of the city. turn the mic over to uh, Nancy Grilk to do the other grants. I'd like to also recognize two other people. Our police chief, Boston College's finest, Bill Evans, the yeah. former commissioner. Yeah. And also another member of the task force who's here, Rosie Hanlon. So Nancy. Good morning. 
Um, thank you, Tom, and thank you, Boston College, for hosting this festive um, event in this beautiful setting. Um, we have uh, been um, handing out grants uh, through the Boston College Austin Brighton Community Fund for 26 years, and close to $2 million in benefits have been spread out across the community during that time. So thank you, BC, and the City of Boston. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Cookie, the Community Fund members, Bill Mills, Ann Mulligan, Jerry Quinn, and Shelley Bialka, who volunteer their time and thoughtfully consider each and every um, application during the two funding cycles. We're fortunate to have them on board. And also thanks to Maria and Catherine at the Neighborhood Center for their excellent coordination and, and to Laura as well. So on behalf of Father and the Mayor, we're pleased to award $39,929 to 14 wonderful projects. As your organization is called, please come forward to receive your award and have your picture taken. The Alston Board of Trade, Tom Myers. $3,000 for the holiday lights for Alston Village. This will help fund the festive holiday lights along Harvard Ave and Cambridge Street. It will enhance the area and give people more of a reason to visit the beautiful and busy retail district and to shop and eat locally. Ours are a little smaller, but they can be cash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next is the Alston Wright Little League, John Enright. And this is $3,000 to help fund the uniform and equipment expenses for the 2020 baseball and softball season. Thank you. This terrific program will get kids outside to learn the importance of teamwork while participating in the great American pastime. We look forward to watching some exciting games in just a few months. Next is the Alston Brighton Youth Hockey Association, Craig Cashman. And this is... This is $3,000 for the upcoming season, with participation increasing to 100 children this year. The grant will help to fund squirts, girls, peewees, and bantam teams. Newly added to the program are skill sessions to help kids reach their full potential. It's a bit much, huh? Thank you. Next is the Baldwin Early Learning Pilot Academy, Min Jen Taylor. $3,000 for the student enrichment programs. This will support the swimming program, a field day, family fun nights for students and families, providing parents the opportunity to get to know the school teachers, staff, while enjoying times with the kids. Next is the Brazilian Women's Group, Bernardo Vias. This $2,280 grant will fund the Seja Cantata Be Counted project. They will engage volunteers and staff to provide outreach to the Austin Brighton community to ensure everyone is counted in the 2020 census. Next is the Brighton Board of Trade, Dustina Bennett. And this is $3,000 for Brighton Holiday Lights. Funds will be used in partnership with Brighton Main Streets to brighten and beautify the business district during the holiday season. And the Charles River Conservancy, Sasha Valieres. $3,000 for the Conservancy Volunteers Program to continue their work with local school groups, community centers, uh, community members to engage in cleanup efforts on the parks along the Charles River. Did I miss? Sorry. Next is a Family Nurturing Center, Maria Ray.
And this is $3,000 for the Alston Brighton Diaper Pantry. Funds will be used to purchase diapers and diaper bags for distribution at no cost to Alston Brighton families. Next up is Friendship Works, Cara Jeter. It's 2000. $2,149 for the purchase of equipment to support programs to facilitate all aspects of the programs which matches volunteers with older adults to help with chores, friendship, advocacy, and emotional support. Thank you. <laughs> and next up is the Jackson Band School and Community Council, Rosie Hanlon. $3,000 for the Reflection Garden program. The grant will create an indoor reflection garden to help calm students who need to step away from the stimulus and anxiety of the classroom. The garden will create a quiet place with soft lights, stress toys, seating, plants, and fish tanks, among other measures. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, two life communities, Ryan Hastings Echo. <laughs> this $3,000 grant um, will uh, for the Brighton Community Mosaics Project to create a mosaic art installation using salvageable components of existing two sculptures created in 1981. Be a new public facing art exhibit. <laughs> And we have the Presentation School Foundation and Community Center. Claude Adjumi. $3,000 to enhance and improve the community rooms used to provide signage, display calendars, storage cabinets to uh, let people know about all the free services that are offered at the center. The Veronica B. Smith Multi-Service Senior Center Cynthia Willock and Tony Desidoro. This is $3,000 for senior engagement and involvement programs to support the center's popular holiday gatherings, weekly breakfast programs, activity hours, and purchase new exercise equipment. And the last grant is to the Women's Table, Sisters of St. Joseph, Mary Rita Wexler. This is $2,500 for a Table for All project to used to support outreach and supplies for the monthly circle of support gatherings, mothers with children with special needs, and multicultural support. Thank you for the work you do. And congratulations to all the recipients, and Merry Christmas to all. Father, could I ask Mark and Father Leahy to stay, stay for a presentation? Father, Gene has the. As Tom mentioned earlier, Mark Siomo has decided he's going to move on to other activities. And I would say, first of all, he looks a little young to me to say <laughs> retirement. So I'm saying he's just moving on to other things. And in the Jesuit community at Boston College, we say that you enter into the wisdom community at age 80. So I would say Mark has a long way to go before he's <laughs> in the wisdom community. However. He has served us in the Alston Brighton area in a very special way, effective way, for so many years. And it seemed appropriate today that we recognize him, thank him, and also wish him well as he moves into whatever that next step is. And we decided we would offer a special citation to Mark Siomo today. And as we do that, I'd like to read sections of this to kind of give you a sense of what he has meant to the city of Boston and particularly to our neighborhood. So this is a little summary of things that 
Mark has done over the years. And in particular, I'd like to say, dedication marks his life. He's represented our community as the District 9 City Councilor for 12 years. He's been a resident of Alston Brighton all his life. And in his activities through such things as being a teacher involved here at the Jackson Mann Community Center. But I would say it's his life as a human being and a neighbor that most stands out. In my experience here, any kind of issue that might arise in this community would elicit the engagement and interest of Mark Siomo. And so we're here today in a particular setting, but I think we're also representative of the thousands of individuals whose lives he has touched. And so we offer to Mark Siomo this citation, this acknowledgement of his role in our community. And the last line, I think, is so very important. It says, the Boston College community gives thanks to Mark Siomo, especially for his leadership, service, and friendship over the last 12 years, and wishes him success in his future endeavors. So could you all join me in thanking Mark Siomo for his many, many contributions. I'm so honored. Uh, this last several months has been, um, you know, so rewarding because everybody likes me again. Uh, <laughs> And I am accepting any and all offers, because <laughs> I am looking for a job. Uh, but <clears throat> all kidding aside. Bring it back to Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Um, no, but all kidding aside, uh, this has been the greatest honor of my life to be able to represent the neighborhood I grew up in, the neighborhood that produced great leaders before me, great mentors and role models, and helped me become who I am. And I just try to replicate that to young people that I've employed over the years, young people I come in contact with, and then also my, my seniors that I worked for at the Senior Center for 14 years before being elected. I've had a very wonderful life, take that line from George Bailey. Um, and I just want to thank uh, Tom for his longtime friendship, even though he's from Alston. <laughs> and and all, like my, my uh, as Laura calls him, my work wife, <laughs> Representative Kevin Honan. Um, it's been just a, a remarkable career for me, and I really appreciate the partnership with Father Leahy and everybody from Boston College. I think we've strengthened that partnership over these years. I think we've worked to address all of those quality of life issues, um, and we've done it in a civil way. And it, it, as I leave today, I would just say, please, everyone, especially those people within our community. We can agree, we can disagree, but let's not always be disagreeable with, with each other, please. Thank you. <laughs> that concludes our official program. You're more than welcome to please stay and enjoy some refreshments and coffee. And uh, again, thank you. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you.